the dating game. And that's right. Today we're going to help a lonely customer find a lucky salesperson who she could do business with. <laughs> Let's meet our customer, shall we? She's a law student. She hails from Encino, California, and she wants to find a product and is looking for a great salesperson who will listen and meet her needs. She wants her fears satisfied so she can just relax. Come on, let's bring her out here. Let's hear it for Sandy Beach. Hi, Bob. Hi, Sandy. How you doing? Great. All right, so what are you hoping to accomplish today? Just looking to finish a transaction. All right, have a seat. Get comfortable there. And let's meet our salespeople, huh? And here they are. Hey, let's meet salesperson number one. <laughs> you know what? He'll probably make you feel like an idiot when he's talking to you. <laughs> That's because he'll be talking while you're talking. He's condescending, interrupting guy. He's salesperson number one. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're on the show. See, I had a question for you. That's uh, not really important, is it, Bob? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess maybe it isn't. Let's meet salesperson number two. Salesperson number two comes from Big Ugly, West Virginia, and it doesn't matter what you think, he probably won't care at all. That's right, he's insincere guy. Salesperson number two. <laughs> all right, you excited to be on the show? Oh yes, I'm thrilled to be a part of this entire process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you are. Well, salesperson number three. Well, he's all the way from Bucksnort, Tennessee. And you know what? You want to find out what's happening, what's going on? You'll never find out from this guy. You know why? Because he's won't call, won't follow up guy. He's salesperson number three. <laughs> so are you happy to be on the show? Uh, can I get back to you on that, Bob? All right then. <laughs> okay. Well, what we're looking to do is find a perfect match for you today, Sandy. It's really hard. I'm hoping you can help. So, well, are you comfortable? I am. You're so sweet. <laughs> All right, let's get right to it. Salesperson number one, I'm looking for exactly... Now, now, now. <laughs> oh, little lady. I've been doing this for 20 years, so let me just step in and help. We don't really need to hear ideas or things that matter to you. <laughs> okay, um, salesperson number two. Same question. That's a lovely outfit you're wearing, by the way. Can't even see me. Yeah, I can tell by the sound of your voice that you have excellent taste. Whatever you think is fine. I love your ideas. Could you repeat the question? <laughs> Go ahead. Salesperson number three? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a great question. Uh, let me do a little research on that. I'll, uh, I'll crunch some numbers for you, and I'll get right back to you on that, OK? <laughs> I don't think any of these salespeople are going to match. I mean, I'm not going to want to make a relationship with any of these. <laughs> well, I can understand because they're obviously not listening to you. I mean, the key in forming a relationship is that they actually listen, am I right? Yeah, listening. I mean, you're the one that's deciding what you want. None of them's really asking your needs or even seeing if that's important to you. It's about what you want, right? Yeah. What I want. I mean, let's think about it. They're not paying attention. You're the customer. I am the customer. That's right. Yeah, what I want. Sure. Will you be my salesperson, Bob? Why, yes. Yes, I will. Hey, that's our show, and I sure liked the ending, didn't you? Join us next week when your salesperson comes into your office and says, hey, how come that guy across the street's getting all the business and you're not? <laughs> Well, that's our show. What do you say? Should we give him that big kiss, huh? Mwah! <laughs>